day two of the Toronto International Film Festival at the Windsor Arms Hotel. Well, it's day two everywhere, but we're <laughs> at the Windsor Arms Hotel. And uh, we are interviewing, I think, our 20th guest, and we've got a major star with us now. That's Susan. right, we've got Laura Levy, who is an attorney. She's CEO of Wide, Wide Entertainment and Death Row. She's a soccer mom, an actress, a singer, Girl, when do you have time to do all that? Okay, not an actress. Oh, you're not an actress? No. Okay. It's Wide Awake um, Wide and Wide Awake Death Row. <laughs> and um, you forgot to mention that I'm also a brain surgeon. No, a I'm brain not. surgeon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's in your next life, I just play maybe. one on TV. You know? <laughs> No, it, you know, it, it's a very varied life. I, I'm yes. left and right brained. Uh, my mother raised me that way. Um, I'm torturing my 10 year old son the same way now. And, and, you know, I grew up with a high premium of education, but I also started the piano at three, okay. the violin at seven. Oh, wow. Um, I did do a fair amount of acting when I was younger, but uh -huh. as the years have progressed, you know, I'm very focused in terms of my creative side on yes. uh, producing films, screenplays, uh, producing music, writing music. And, you know, unfortunately, because I have that JD, people keep wanting to know, you know, tap into the business side. So it's a, yeah. it's a very odd life and sometimes it doesn't get enough balance and then I need to chill, which is I think what we're here for we're today. Have glass of Actually, sparkling. let's have a nice glass of chilled okay, to start off with. That's a great idea. That up, buddy. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. So, so you bought Death Row uh, music for uh, well, in January? Well, to say that I bought it, you know, would mean that I went down to the basement and printed $18 million. And <laughs> I like that. The Can I get support. some of that stuff? And if I could figure out how to do that, I would be on a Greek island somewhere. <laughs> but actually, no, we have a financer out of Canada who mm -hmm. um, uh, I guess you know believes in me and believes in the company and believed that we could you know get a return on investment in the asset and for me personally um, the death row catalog though you wouldn't look at me and say I'm a, a ga I can do that thing gangster, that gangster <laughs> woman, okay? but but what I am is someone who always champions the artist that's wonderful mm -hmm. and these artists um, are somewhat most of them all of them are pretty disenfranchised from the death row brand okay. and yes. honestly I feel aside from the balance of art and commerce you know I, I have been brought to this equation to go through the very slow and painful incremental steps of bringing peace and moving it into a more re socially responsible um, level by bringing in films like this wonderful film that we're championing that's apparently the hugest buzz here at, at TIFF is Sons to the Grave. Yes. And everybody wants to know about Sons to the Grave and um, I love that and that's a perfect example of where we're taking a socially responsible film that has elements of sort of the boys in the hood yes. element. Yes. We're yeah. taking the death row music and some other content and we're putting it in there Into raw the and real mm -hmm. so that we are using it to tell a story without glamorizing misogyny or gang violence okay. or like youth that. violence. Yeah. And in doing that, we become not only socially responsible, yeah. we create a current relevancy for the death row music. And that's mm -hmm. that's kind of the idea. And I, honestly, I, I love the script. I think Lynn Stoltz is brilliant, yeah. um, the writer. Um, but I also love the concept. And yeah. this seems to be resonating all over the world. We've been getting calls from all of the major film festivals. When are you going to make this? And we're using TIFF as an opportunity to really talk to people, people about, about the it. best way you know, to put it all together. So which what is, is the storyline in general about the, the, the story movie? The story is inspired by some events that happened um, in St. Jamestown, which is sort of the Compton of Toronto. And it's, it's a story about an unwed black mother who okay. has a teenage son who has gotten out of the hood. Okay. And she elects to come back in because oh. her son is a basketball prodigy. Okay. And the best NBA scouting school is actually in St. Jamestown. Okay. Ah. So the story takes on this beautiful mm. poetry of the people that get out, the people that got out and come back yeah. in, yes. and the people who can never leave. Uh -huh. And the conflicts among them and there's, it's, a, it's a tragic ending in some ways because um, the teenager is shot right before oh. he's about to get out. Mm -hmm. oh. But mm -hmm. on the other side of it, it ends with this message. This message. But there's hope. It's, there's hope and the depth of, of, of what complacency, how it will hurt us. 
that you know you sit here in the in the world of, of, of now a mixed race president Barack Obama mm -hmm. I have a mixed race son when we sat down and watched him at the inauguration because I am from the US originally um, it was very moving for us a wonderful yes. moment but, yeah. but it also is not a moment to now take a nap no right. it's and, to move forward yeah. right keep going mm -hmm. and this film really embodies the reminder that we cannot become complacent no. yeah. and to allow this music that is very hardcore mm -hmm. to help tell the story um, when this music much of it was written years ago over a decade ago it's it's very interesting socially yeah. and you know I, I was just invited to speak at Yale on these issues and and uh, which was totally a thrill but you know yeah. the the uh, and I'm going to go do it because I think it sounds so cool. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's but quite an the honor. reason, but the point of that is that that means that this is resonating beyond, mm -hmm. you know, a very niche demographic of yes. death row people or whatever. And I'm hoping that we can just carry that on and commit to a slate of films that that focus in this direction because I think part of social change comes from filmmaking. Absolutely. Well, we were talking about poverty. Am I allowed to drink this? You yes. can. You yes. can have a little sip for sure. <laughs> Definitely, it's uh, I th it sounds like a wonderful idea. I know that your one of your goals also is to um, to use the music from Death Row and try to get try to uh, sort of get it out there again through different uh, through different yeah, vehicles sure. like film and videos and are absolutely these some of the things you're yeah doing? yeah. Well, you know, I think that the thing about Death Row is that all around the world, and I travel all over the place for this stuff. Um, people know this brand, Death Row Records. Mm -hmm. They may associate it I with... I know my 18-year-old did. For oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. He Even said, we were coming to see you. He said, wow. Yeah. He was <laughs> impressed. Um, <laughs> he was. dubious on it. But, you know, my husband is, <laughs> is African-American, and he's the one son who went to college uh, of the okay. four kids, uh -huh. and the one who really, you know, he's designing this amazing space in uh, the Liberty Village, which will be this incredible multimedia um, production facility. And... Uh, uh, I am like the coolest auntie on that side of the family ever. Okay, I'm I, sure I didn't you even are. know I had that many nieces and nephews who could rap. <laughs> but, but on a serious note, you yeah. know, with 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 this, um, you have to look at it as a brand. You have to yeah. revitalize the brand. You have to give it current relevance, and then you have to apply the brand where it fits in today's market. And yes. you know, interestingly enough, today's market is not solely about music because. Mm -hmm. In many cases, the top 40 hits have become disposable music that the kids download for free, mm -hmm, fill up right. in their iPods, then get rid of that in a month and put something yes, else in. Something the beauty of Death Row is because it's very authentic, like a Pink Floyd album like or a, a Led classic, Zeppelin yes. album, mm -hmm. it's a collector. So people yeah. don't look at it as that same kind of disposable music. By the same token, I don't want it to just center around that brand. I'd like to power other brands that we build yes. off of it. For example, looking at a really cool graphic novel series called uh, Hustle City that a, a brilliant fellow Paul Schultz put together. And in that, um, it's this whole sort of community, right? And in, in, in set in, you know, sort of a film noir, Sin City kind of feel. Uh -huh. And I would love, I don't know if I can get it, but it, my, my dream would be to have Tupac Shakur as the guardian angel. <laughs> and, oh. and, but I don't know if they're going to like, Afini, if you're listening to this, all I'm doing is daydreaming. I haven't made any announcements. You have to be able to have the dream. You yeah. have to be able to dream, that's for sure. She's probably rolling her eyes somewhere. But, that, you know, I still love you, baby. But, um, I love that. But, <laughs> but, but, but the point is, is that then you have a springboard brand. You have... Um, you have a graphic novel, you have music that's inserted yes. in it, right. you have webisodes that are animated from that, then you have maybe a book, and then you mm -hmm. have a film, and then you have a video game. Yes. And that's how you put together, you know, plan. a cross-collateralized brand and send it out for franchise. That's the vision. Yeah. Now, whether we get there or not, I, you know, I'm just glad I'm above ground with, today. With you yeah. behind it, I'm sure you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And let's toast to that. Amen. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Lara, for Thank coming you, in to oh, see us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>